Hey, what's up guys? This is Wake here, and I'm gonna bring you another uh, video. This is actually a video on my review of the FPS Freaks, or Control Freaks, as most of you guys will probably know them. Uh, it's just a review because I found out about them, and they're a huge help for me, and this is just be a review. First off, I would like to say uh, thanks to Zonda. I'll put his link in the description to his channel. He has a really amazing uh, video comparing the FPS Freaks Close Quarters Combat, which I have right here, and the FPS Freaks Sharpshooter, which are a lot longer. And uh, that sh he just shows the difference between the two, and it'll help you decide which style of Control Freaks you want. So I'm just going to get into this. Uh, I'll put his link in the description, so you guys really should check that out if you're interested in buying one of these. So, this is the package it comes in. Actually, it gets shipped in this. You know, just a nice little easy thing. And it's nice to know that all their money goes right into the product. It's actually really cheap. This was like 10 bucks plus like 3 bucks shipping. So, 13 bucks to get these. Got them within like 5 days, which is pretty standard. And they come in just a little tiny case, you know, just like this with two of them. But I have the other one on my scuff controller over there. And I'll be bringing out a scuff controller review next week. And, and uh, yeah, so to make this review as best as possible, I'm going to show you what it is. And then I've asked the whole clan of Lethal Energy on Facebook what they thought of scuff controllers, if they had them, or control freaks. And I have a lot of their comments. And I'm going to post every single comment that, like, was actually about it in the description of this video. So if you want to... Uh, like know more about them and want to get a broader range of opinions on the control freaks and the scuff controller in the next video then you should go read the description because it will help you also make your decision so this is basically what it is uh, I'm gonna take it out of the this one right here so this is all it is it's just that's all it is it's like a little it's another one of the thumb pad things uh, this right here you just put it over top of your controller they're really hard to get off and on. Oh, I know on is pretty easy, but to get off, uh, they're really hard. So it's not going to slip at all. It won't move while you're playing, and that's another amazing thing. Cause that was the thing that I was also worried about when uh, buying these. So here it is on my scuff controller right here. As you can see, the left one it's very like short, which means it only can move to right there. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna try to do this there. You can't really see this that well but it only goes over a certain distance but with this being longer it makes it so that you have to move more that you have to have that means you have to move more over to like proportionally you have to move the thumbstick more because it's uh, taller so that means your precision aiming is going to be a lot better because instead of having to do this thing right here just like try to move it over and it gets a little really jerky when you have to make small adjustments across the map this you can move it more and it's easier to break away from the little uh, center if you go on your controller you can go like this like really lightly and it won't break away from the dead spot of the thumbstick and this breaks away really easy and you have to move it a less distance so you can be more precise on your aiming and that's really what these do they help they really mainly help in your mid to long range gunfights. They're not going to help a ton at close quarters combat. That's just, I mean, it won't really help that much. It helps for, for precision, accuracy, snipers, assault rifles, anything that you're going to be shooting across the map and then you need accuracy for, this will help. It helps you in your mid to long range gunfights, and that's basically what it's used for. Personally, my opinion, I think that it improves your accuracy enough that it's uh, definitely worth it considering it's only 10 bucks and as you can see like look the it's a lot taller and that means I can move it over farther than that one so as you can see you know uh, they also have a video where it says that like the science behind it or whatever on their website and it says that the controller this right here can only move 80% over and, and then this one can move 120% so it's just about uh, a half more so like it makes it just enough taller that it's uh, doesn't mess your aim up too much close and that's my opinion of it right now so I'm just gonna leave these in the shot right now so you guys can see it 
And so I'm gonna read some comments from the Lethal Energy Clan. I use Control Freaks VIPR, which is a different set of Control Freaks. There's several different kinds. And increased my overall accuracy by 2%. 2% is a lot, if you guys know, because that's that's a lot. I mean, you guys may not think about it 2%. That means two more bullets out of 100. But that can make all the difference in your gunfights. Another one is that using one control freak on my on each uh, thumbstick, which I only have mine on my right one because I don't really, this is just sprinting. But I only use uh, using one con control freak on each stick. When I have a standard pad, I use two control, control freaks on the right and zero on the left. I have my right thumb domed on a scuff, and it sits a couple millimeters higher than the old standard concave stick. My sensitivity I have decreased by one level from. I've decreased, I've decreased my sensitivity. Hold on, that doesn't make sense. But he moved it from level six to seven. That means he can turn quicker. But he says he still has the same amount of accuracy, so he can turn faster, get on. Uh, get on the mark faster but he stays just as accurate so that's a ton of help too also the benefits that i felt uh it gives you the benefits of a fast turn on high sensitivity but helps you keep your aim straight on for mid to long range gunfights that's exactly what i said but that was what someone else from the clan said control freaks are fantastic helped my aim uh a bit too so i have literally probably four or five pages uh, but some are scuff controller reviews and some are control freak reviews. They're just mixed in, so I'm gonna put them all in the description. So what you need to do is go subscribe to Zonda and check out his video. I'll put a link in the description to his control freaks video. Also, subscribe to this channel, like if this helped, and hopefully this you guys enjoyed this. This has been Wake. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash L like E L Wake Forest. I'll put a link in the description of mine too. So if you want to see some league play or anything else like that. I mainly play league play and competitive. So if you want to check out some more content by me, uh, check me out. That's all, guys. Hopefully this helps you guys in your game.